Hello, I'm Tim Krull. Welcome to Norwich City Central. What's going on everyone, Norwich City Central, this is my player ratings from another extraordinary Saturday afternoon for Norwich City as they move to the top of the table with another late Timu Puki goal uh, to give Norwich three points away at a very tough ground. Blackburn were in great form going into this, they've only lost one game at Ewood Park in the whole of 2018, but Norwich City with another late winner to send the fans, fans mental. And yes, yeah, this is my player ratings, please leave your thoughts down below, if, uh, who impressed you on the pitch? Um, what are your thoughts of the game? Let's start with Tim Krull, and Tim Krull for me gets an 8 out of 10, he showed great leadership skills, um, there was a point at the end of the game where the Blackburn fans were trying to uh, throw the ball back to him, and he kept just throwing it back, it's a shithouse of the highest order from Tim Krull, but um, no, a good goalkeeping performance from him. Uh, Max Aaron's 8 out of 10 for me as well, uh, got forward well, um, played, some, played some good football as well, Look, he's one. Of, he's one of the best young talents going. Not just not just in the championship, probably even in the Premier League. Max Aaron just he hasn't just hasn't put a foot wrong, and there's a reason why Chelsea and Arsenal have been linked with this guy because he's got pure talent. And Max Aaron's will play at the Premier League. Let's hope he's going to be playing in the Premier League with Norris City. Uh, Christoph Zinnemann for me, eight out of ten. A warrior. Um, you, you know, whenever he's on the pitch, he's going to leave it. All, he's going to leave it all on the pitch. He 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 gets stuck in with tackles. He's winning a lot of important headers because uh, Blackburn did. Decided to go route one on a few occasions and he was pivotal in the air. 8 out of 10. Uh, but Ben Godfrey for me, 9 out of 10. I thought he was one of the man of the matches, that's not the man of the match. I was so impressed with Ben Godfrey and I wasn't sure about him starting this game. But what he showed in this game was so much maturity for such a young age. His decision making on the ball was excellent. He was athletic, he was physical um, and he just left it all on the pitch like Zinnemann. And his celebrations at the end were mental. It was, it was in one of the thumbnails for the videos from the match review or the social media reaction. He loves Norwich. He loves playing football, and that's what it means. And when you've got players who care and so so passionate, it really just bode well. Uh, so Ben Godfrey, 9 out of 10. Didn't put a foot wrong, did he? Um, for me, Jamal Lewis, 7 out of 10. A good performance from the left back. Made a couple of mistakes in the first half, but you know he's a quality left back. And we're so lucky to have such talented full backs at our club. 7 out of 10. Alex Tetty, 8 out of 10. Look, Alex Tetty had a terrible game against Bristol City, but for me, I don't think he gets enough. He hasn't got enough credit for me this season. I think he's been absolutely outstanding. The way he breaks up the play, I mean, there's been so many goals where Alex Tetty's broken up the play and then we've got, got, got the goal from that. He's, he's a great leader to have, um, and, and he's he had another impressive game. Mo Leitner, it's a bit hard to kind of give him a player rating. I'll give him a 7 for what he did, and let's hope Mo Leitner is OK and it's not a serious injury. Same with Emi Buendia as well. You can't really give them a rating. Mo, Emi Buendia was only on the pitch for 15 minutes. Um, like Leitner, um, let's hope he's back OK, because the Blackburn uh, players were very un unnecessarily very aggressive. But I guess when you're playing a team at the top, top of the table... Um, that they're kind of tactics which you kind of use um, if you're a bit of a, a bit of an idiot. But uh, yeah, um, who else did we have? Todd Cantwell, brilliant performance by him, eight out of ten. Um, I thought he was excellent in the first half. He played a couple of brilliant through balls. He, his link up play with Timmy Pookie is really really good. Um, it was excellent. His vision excellent. And what I loved about Todd Cantwell's performance is he got back as well defensively. He got back and helped the team. Um, Great performance from Todd Cantwell and I'm really pleased that he's been given the opportunity at Norwich City and he's doing really well. I'd like to see him maybe add a few more goals, but he's not that kind of player. Um, but no, he's, he's, he's getting better and better. I love Todd Cantwell. Ono Hernandez, 9 out of 10. Changed the game when he came on. His pace, his movement, uh, excellent and brilliant assist as well. I'm talking about assist. Mario Rancic was the player who played through the pass to Ono Hernandez and he gets an 8 out of 10. I thought Rancic was a couple of times sloppy, but when it mattered most... He plays a brilliant ball into Ono Hernandez and obviously Ono Hernandez with a great cross. So Rancic with an 8 and Ono Hernandez with a 9. Really impressive. Actually, no, I'm going to give Ono Hernandez an 8 actually because there was a couple of times where he did give the ball away. But Ono Hernandez, Mario Rancic, both 8s. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on what, whether you start Ono Hernandez for the next game because I didn't, at times I think he lost the ball quite easy but obviously his pace and his raw talent is something to behold and I'm so grateful that Ono Hernandez is at the club. And Timu Puki, 8 out of 10. Um, was quite quiet, but when it mattered most, gets into the six-yard box, as all strikers do, and just pokes at home. He's a player who's so intelligent, he knows when to make the right movements, and um, another Timmy Pookie late goal, and another P P Pookie party. Let's hope Norris City stay top of the Championship. Please play tomorrow. Fingers crossed. That's my player ratings. Do you agree or not? Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you're new to Norris City Central, and I'll see you later.